Perhaps the best argument for the beauty of the Hebrew language was actually written in Arabic. This was written by the great Rabbi Huda Levi in his work, the Kuzari. Rabbi Huda Levi there describes a discussion between the Chaver and the king of Kuzar, right? Between a, in the work, in the I'll be able, I will be utilizing the translation of Rabbi Daniel Karapkin of Kuzari to help portray this better in English due to my inability to speak Arabic fluently. So there, the Kuzari starts by stating, is Hebrew superior to Arabic? Arabic is a far more complete and robust language. This is obvious, it's self-evident. Then the rabbi comes and says, Haver, Hebrew and answers that, no, that's not true. Hebrew suffered the same fate as bearers, became impoverished, and, and as they were impoverished and imprisoned, slowly the language was reduced and reduced. But is that, but it really is in fact, the most important of all the languages for both historical and logical reasons. Historically, this is the very language which God used when he spoke to Adam and Chava, which, uh, which Adam and Chava used to talk in with each other. This can be told quite easily from the language we see as far as the, their names, their the etymology of them in the very beginning of the, of the, of the Torah. Adam comes from Adama, the earth. The name for Chava, Isha, comes from Ish, which is the Hebrew word for man. Chava comes from Aim Kolchai, the mother of all living things. The first son, Cain, comes from the word Kaniti, I have acquired. And she and and the and the word the name Shays, her second son or Seth, comes from the word provided. And Noah comes from the word Yanachamenu. May God alleviate for us. Additionally, we have the testimony of God, the Torah. He was given by God, written in Hebrew, and our heritage is of the Hebrew language. It was passed down from generation to generation, going back to the times of Aver, who received it from Noah, who received it from Adam. The fact that it was Aver's language is why it is called Hebrew, Ivrit, because Aver was the only one who retained it during the, during the generation of the dispersion and the confusion of the languages by the fall of the Tower of Baba. The reason why Avram knew the language of Aramaic was because when he was in Orkastim, that was language not spoken. It is the language of the Chaldeans. So when that is why Avram used Hebrew as a special language when discussing matters of holiness. Well, Aramaic is what he used for his day-to-day -day business affairs. Yishmael, Avram's son, in fact, brought Hebrew to the Arab countries, where it eventually became and evolved into a nowadays knows as knows, knows Arabic. These three languages, Hebrew, Aramaic, and Arabic, are therefore very parallel, similar in structure, vocabulary, as well as their various usages. However, Hebrew stands alone, stands alone above the rest. Hebrew's importance from a logical standpoint is also seen by the way and the people who used it. We see that they needed to use it for various oratory reasons, as well as on a higher level, it was used to as a language of prophecy. It was necessary to have a language that could properly convey God's commandments and the songs and praises that we offered to him. Do you think that Moshe, Joshua, David, or Shlomo lacked eloquent speech when they needed it for the various oral purposes, as we, we today often grasp for words as we have lost much of our language. Have you ever seen the narrative of the Torah and its discussion of the Mishkan, the tabernacle, of the fine details of the coin gunnels, apron, and breastplate, and other matters? Whenever the Torah needs to describe an unusual object, how do you think it is able to delineate each and every one? Even the language used is, is exceptional. When you see how nicely the Torah's various narratives are organized, the Torah is able to provide names for each and every nation, birds, precious stones. The language of Hebrew is rich enough for David's Tehillim, for Eov's eloquent lamentations, for his debates with his friends, as well as for the rebukes and consolations of Yirmiyahu of Yir, of Yir, of and Yishiyahu, so on and so forth. Those are the words of 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 the Haver Yudah Levi describing some of the beauty 
of the Hebrew language, how it has great historical basis, how it has great logical basis, and as far as how beautiful it is in other areas, we'll hopefully return to tomorrow.